All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into another video. Today's video is not a gaming one. It's actually more of a help for content creators like myself. Uh, most of you have been having problems with OBS if you're watching this video. So you're probably here trying to figure out how to fix it. And I've seen tons and tons of videos trying to fix my problem. And all I can say is that none of them fixed anything. In order to find out the truth, I had to go deep into OBS discords, forums, and everything else that I could find just to try to find out the real reason why this didn't happen. Like, why, why was this happening? I couldn't capture specific games. And games that I would be capturing for from one day to the other just stopped working like I was still capturing them and here's a perfect uh, uh, perfect example this game called Paladins right now we're in the menu to do the login so it's not even important but this game I've been streaming it and recording it for two years or more right and all of a sudden if I go here and I put game capture for those who don't know game capture is a lot better especially for example if you're playing overwatch if you try to capture with the screen you'll see that it will be a complete mess, so just please go with game capture. You put the game capture, usually you would go with capture any full screen application, which is the first line. It's in Portuguese, but I'm, I'm, I'm basically translating it for you. And the second one says capture specific window. So if you go for the specific window and you press on here on the list and you go onto the Paladin 64-bit, which is that right there, the X11, press OK, the eye is open because if this eye is like this, means that it no longer shows here on the display. If you put it like that, it should appear here. We see that little red thing over there. This is basically the source that hasn't stretched out yet. But even if you try to stretch this out, if you put something like transform and go to the screen right now it's stretched out but it still doesn't show if you tried to record it it still won't show so what happened well first of all we can try this in a different way and you'll see that i'm not it will still not work we're going to put full screen and we're going to go here on full screen with f11 now i'm going to alt tab and when we back to obs guess what it's not there so this is some sort of a problem with obs but not just obs it's actually multiple different things and i'm going to explain to you guys we're going to get out of the game here it's no need to be in the game and we're going to have to uninstall obs you heard me right we're going to have to uninstall obs and for this we're not just going to do the standard um Uninstall. No, no. We're going to go here. We're going to uninstall the program. We're going to search for OBS. We're going to uninstall it right here. Take off the user settings. It doesn't matter. Or if you want to save them, uh, I'll explain to you later. But just watch the video until the end. We're going to uninstall OBS. And now we're going to have to go into a specific little spot. Up here, you're going to go with this. App data. And this. And we're going to enter. Now we're going to see here if anything is here obs studio we need to take this out if you have any sort of program right now i believe that it's because i'm using obs studio uh, stream labs but if you have anything of obs here just take it out and we're gonna go back one line and we're gonna go here and search for obs as well see if there's nothing here it's nothing there we're gonna go over here to local row local low uh, local low low as well nothing here and we're going to do one final little thing we're going to go back to where it says local we're going to add data local all right basically when we started we went over here just so you guys don't get lost we'll go like this app data which is not typed correctly app data and as soon as you get in here you're going to go back one briefcase to the app data over there and you go to local and you're going to search the briefcase that says temp this is sort of the temporary files you want to delete this as well. And whatever it says that it can't be deleted because it's currently in the work, you just put ignore or something like that. And you delete everything else. You see that OBS over there? That needs to go. That needs to go away. Because um, usually my standard little uh, explanation of what I'm about to tell you, it would work. But unfortunately, because there's still files inside of this, it will not let you do the things correctly so we need to delete the temporary file so these are the only things that are going to be seeing here streamlabs obs this is the program that i'm currently using to record this right now which is streamlabs obs let me show you to you oops moved around the source this is what i wanted to do so i'm recording with this uh, but we want to fix obs as it's obvious so uh, deleting that just make sure that we delete that now we're going to go to our uh, pc we're going to go to our briefcases on the PC. We're going to go here. We're going to go on disk. And we're going to search for OBS briefcases. OBS. 
Take that sucker out, delete it. We do not want this because this will sometimes re uh, still record some information that we do not want. We're gonna delete it entirely. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down in the description below and there should be a link. And I can show you the link really quick. The link is the following. It's this one right there, right? This is the link to download the previous version of OBS. All right, but if I told you to just install the old, the um, you know the the previous version, you guys probably would have problems trying to find it. Right now, you have the link directly to the version that is the best possible for yourself. And when you come in here, the first thing you need to do is just scroll down a little bit where it says assets. This should be like something like this. You press it and you download either the 64 installer, full installer, or the 86. Depends on what you you run on your system is it 32 bits then you take the 86 is it 64 bits that you take the 64 so with that said you download it and i for example already downloaded it it's right here on the downloads and this is the latest one this is the latest update that if you go to obs you'll find 25 remember in the beginning that i showed the the program open that was 25 but we want 24 because 25 Basically, the explanation for this is that 25, unfortunately, some games, and I'm going to just give you a little perfect list of some of the games, CSGO with Face It, Division 2, For Honor, uh, Warhammer, Vermintide 2, Paladins, and Minecraft with Lunar Client. These are just some, some of the programs that right now are not even working with 25, the version 25 of OBS, but not because of OBS itself. No. It's because of the games. They have anti-cheat. So if I open, for example, Paladins, which is one of the things, this is the anti-cheat, all right? This has a white list to allow certain programs to work on top of Paladins. And OBS is one of them. But since OBS is now a version 25, it's, a, it's almost like a new different program. And people don't know this. People won't act correctly they'll just update their obs and think oh there's problem something problem with steam or with paladins or with this or with that but in reality it's not actually the game it's the anti-cheat whitelist and this is what i would say that it basically it's the fault of the devs but i mean they have to update it. So as soon as they update it, it'll be fixed. But until then, all you need to do is just install the previous version. Now, as you can see here, I'm trying to install it and it says that I have currently an OBS studio running. It's not actually, it's the uh, the Streamlabs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the recording so I can actually install this and I'll be back in a second. All right, when we're back, now that it's just letting me uh, continue the installation, we're gonna go and install everything. You can even put the uh, plugins if you want to or not you have to install 24 remember version 24 not 25 so this probably will do really really fast you guys can see that it's even installing some things for intel apparently that's really cool as well uh and another thing that i like to talk about while we're installing this is that some people will tell you that you need to run the program in the administrator right here's a perfect little help for that if you don't want to just go execute as administrator every single time go on to properties go on to the the shortcut advance and right here execute as administrator so every time that now you use this shortcut specifically it will go as an administrator all right so with that done we're just going to finish up installing these things over here and it didn't install. I don't even know why I even bothered trying to install, but whatever. Thank you very much. So there we go. We got here. And we're not, we do not want to go. And here it is. See, it tells you that if you want to do the update to 245, and you just say, ignore this version. Just don't update it. Trust me. You want to not be on the latest version possible because some versions uh, in the end will have problems. Problems like these, for example. And it will not work. So now we're going to go for a capture game to see if it's now fixed. And we're going to select a specific little game. We're going to go to Paladins that it's working currently in the back. And there it is. All right, people. This is as simple as it gets. Um, yes, you do have to check if this is on or not. Um, also a little thing that I know that a lot of you will have problems with is that you won't want to lose all of your things. I think you can still keep your using set user settings, but the moment you go back and delete those briefcases, those folders that I told you about, you're probably going to delete those user data. So, um, 
overall just save your files like your overlays your pictures your little you know little animated frames for the cameras and so on and save them on a briefcase and then just do it all over again this is not that hard people all right um putting filters for example on the sound and uh, going through the configurations the the settings this is all really really easy and if you guys are having troubles with this and if you want like maybe a easy fast way on how to stream or how to record or even how to record like for example on separated um audio files or maybe you want to have a filter where when you talk on your microphone uh, for example the game audio lowers down so when you're in the stream people can hear you better if you want any of that i can still do the videos for that as well as you guys can imagine but just for the sake of this video it took me a great great time to fix this all right I even have a problem because I'm on the stream team of the set game Paladins and it's kind of rough that if I don't go and stream the game at the specific times that we have on the schedule that we have, I, you know, I'll be taken out of the team. So stuff like this should never happen, but it's not really OBS's fault and it's not really the developer's fault because they're, you know... The, for example, Paladins only updates their game every two months or so. I don't know if the entry cheat will update as soon as that if they can update it at any time possible but if you do know that this is specifically the problem please please by all means necessary try to contact the devs i already tried to contact my devs of the paladins and let them know that this is a problem they'll they'll say that they are going to look into this as soon as possible and you should do the same all right for any of the other games that i mentioned for honor paladins with the lunar launcher and so on uh please Seriously, talk to the devs, talk to anyone you think that it's worth knowing and tell them that they need to update their anti-cheat whitelist, okay? So that the game doesn't think this is some sort of a hacking program or something like that. But basically, this is the solution for this problem. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if I helped you. And also let me know if you want to see some other things that I can teach you on how to record, how to stream, how to set up your audio, how to set up everything from top to bottom, everything. I've been working with OBS for two to three years now. I think I know enough to actually teach other people to do the same as me. So that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you guys next time. And if you want to check out my channel, see what type of content that I do, that'll be cool as well. Um, I'll appreciate it. Thank you. That'll be it for today. Bye-bye and have a great time.